to start. Mary isn't here anymore. Sad face on Mary. Should I rest her today? Uh, yes. I decided to rest now. Guys, look at me being an adult and going to bed. Like, a good person would do or whatever, apparently. Chapter Misu end. Guys, we did it! Boom, speedrun. See, bro, I did the speedrun you just asked me to do. Aren't I amazing? <laughs> amazing, good night, bye. <gasps> Hello, lungs! Or, I'm sorry, I said your name wrong. Hello, senor lungs! How are you doing? Oh, it's been nearly a day since we found Mary. We're like a boat adrift on the ocean without a compass to guide us. <laughs> Why TV? <laughs> Who knows where the currents will take us? That way. Will we sa- eh. Will we find salvation at the end? No. I'm playing this game. <laughs> High five, Marie. Hey, Mr. Blipbot. We will get smut ending. <laughs> Looks like we wasted a whole day. Is it going to be like this every day? If you're done checking in here, why don't we take a look outside? Hello, Kai! Mary said unnecessary contact with outsiders could speed up the Mark's curse. And if I lose any more of my memories, I'm not sure I'll be able to function. For the past ten days, the only other person I've spoken to in the... Spoken to is the convenience store clerk. Uh, that explains why we've only had TV dinners and snack food to eat. But sitting and waiting isn't going to accomplish anything. I'd rather not wind up forgetting my own name like you. N not that I completely believe that this cursed thing is real. She raises her voice to hide how hard it shakes. She's still stubbornly sticking to her denial of the existence of spirits and the mark. But I know she's already accepted it. After all, she went through it herself last night. Ghosts and curses don't exist. Why'd this have to happen to me? Knock, knock. Eek. I'm spending every night fighting horrible spirits and then... Uh, hey guys, you wanna do DoorDash and Taco Bell tonight? <laughs> Same. Uh, hero startled at the sudden knock. A visitor in the middle of the night. I don't need Mary to know it's a mark bearer. Sorry to impose on you so late. Oh, it's a guy. I was giving him a girl voice. Is this our first? No, it's not. There were several not hot guys. He's way more tired. Dr. Snape! God damn it. A tall, thin man walks in. His skin is as white as sheet and dark circles nearly swallow his eyes. It's almost like a dead person stands before us. Wow. Why do you know our names? You're blip and hero, right? I heard about you and the mark from Yasuka before I came here. Something about a uh, Miss Zhu too? Sounds like you had a rough night. He seems to know Yasuka. No shit! Maybe he just said her name. Do you guys, do you think he knows? I don't want to see his upset face. Bad <laughs> blood professor. Maybe she's following through on her promise and sent him to help us. Well, let's get introductions done. I'm Shuji Diamond. I think you can guess my occupation. Wearing this thing means I don't have to explain, thank goodness. Uh, are you a veterinarian? He gestures to the stethoscope around his neck. So he's a veterinarian. What kind of business brings a doctor like you here? No, he's a veterinarian. <laughs> Diamond's eyes flick over at the sup suspicion in Hero's tone. No need to be so defensive. <laughs> you could just be an asshole with a stethoscope. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> check up on Miss Sue, so yeah. Vet works. <laughs> I have the cursed scars, same as you. The mark. He unbuttons his shirt. Ah, no, 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 no. He can leave that on. I don't want this one ending. Give me the other one. Please, for the love of God. <laughs> A familiar mark on the left side of his chest. <laughs> It just suddenly appeared one day. Though, to be honest, I never thought it'd happen to me. Can we kill this one? <laughs> sure. 
Uh, maybe it's punishment for being stupidly cautious about it. Ew, is that his upset face? I think that's actually his upset face. It's... He looks... I, I'm gonna not comment on it. Curious. Did you know about the mark before Yasoka told you about it? Drunk? Drunk works, yeah. Yeah, that's right. There's mention of a strange scar in my grandpa's records as a military physician. I did some personal research. A military physician's records would mean that they'd be from the Second World War, more than 50 years ago. But that doesn't add up. Ah, uh, you got more keymates! Cute! Rumors of the mark only started about a month ago now. If it was mentioned in those records, the rumor would be much older. There's a reason for that. Patients with the symptom were kept in a secret army laboratory. After the war, all top secret documents related to the lab were burned, except the clinical records I found. A secret lab, huh? That's kind of hard to believe. Dr. Diamond. Eh, Dr. Diamond, you don't have you don't mean to say the mark was used as some sort of biological weapon? Every country had at least one or two soldiers who were divinely possessed. People only call on gods when they're in trouble. It was the end of the war, and they were backed in a corner. How unscientific. Don't you think so, Mr. Blipbot? I mean, it's possible! What? Are you serious? I can see why Yusoka gave you her stamp of approval. The way you consider every possibility is indeed admirable. That open-mindedness must allow you to face the supernatural. However, it's hard to picture the mark being used as a weapon. It seems the 13th Army Engineering Lab was developed, developing something. Blech. It was called the Cannon Soldier. Cannon Soldier? That makes me think of the... Oh, these are words. Bodhisattva Cannon, 50 years ago. And the Buddha statues. Oh shit, is it finally all coming together? Because the Buddha statues were mentioned like three ghosts ago. It can't be. Dr. Diamond, where is that lab? Unfortunately, I have no idea. Sorry. The documents my grandfather kept don't give any details about it. I see. Hey, Mr. Blipbot. That 13th Army Engineering Lab. It's the shelter Zukawa went to. Wow, I could have guessed that. She pulls out her old map. I wanted to keep it secret, but as I'd rather not die from this mark, I'll tell you. This shows the entrances to the 13th Army Engineering Lab. Whoa, are you serious? <laughs> cough, cough. Hello, Birdie. <gasps> A host. Thank you. In his excitement, he starts coughing. Who <laughs> coughs when they're excited? What the fuck? What the fuck is that? It's a new guy who literally just showed up. Oh, it's a person. M my apologies. Where did you get where did you get that hero? My grandfather passed away six months ago. We were s sorting his belongings. Isn't the idea of a secret lab just fascinating? So I thought I'd look into it. It that's actually how he was described when he showed up, Birdie. <laughs> like a dead person. And then Mizu Zukawa stole it. I accidentally let it slip to her. She loves strange experiments like that, so it probably stuck with her. I thought as much, though. Whatever turned her into a monster is down in that secret lab. I might have to pause stream in a moment, just so you guys know, and I'm sorry about that in advance. But I'm gonna try and keep going. Uh, that's a pretty unscientific line of reasoning. Like a person with a vamp famished vampire or deceased body yeah I mean we're already dealing with spirits fucking vampires I wouldn't be surprised y using the occult to turn yourself into a monster is utter nonsense but if there's a scientific method behind it 
I'll have to consider it. I suppose that's just how she is. Was your grandfather involved with the lab in some way, Hero? Hmm, he could have been. All I know is he was an engineer with the rank of captain. Bring food for me too! Wait, hold on. You're both grandchildren of people involved with the engineering lab, and now both of you have the mark. Yes, that would be correct. That and our lab coats are probably all Hero and I have in common. Wow! Lab coats! From what we understand, people with the mark appeared in the secret lab 50 years ago. There might be something that'll help us find the truth behind the curse. That's also the origin of the Cannon Soldier. A name that reminds me of a statue, the traces of Miss Zoo in the shelter. It all might be connected to the Buddha statues that were stolen from H Shrine. Dr. Diamond gave us a lot of info. We'll have to thank Yasoka for introducing him to us. The fates are indeed mysterious. Dr. Diamond, will you help us? Yes, of course. Just don't expect anything physical. Are you sick? You don't look well. Yes, something like that. <laughs> I really dislike this zombie. He he's okay-ish. What does that mean? What, the physical or the something like that? I don't practice what I preach. Both. <laughs> no smut ending. His dry laugh sounds like he's deflecting. He's abnormally thin for a man his age. It's possible that he's gravely ill. So, we're heading to the shelter. About that, we were stopped from going further by a locked door. That strange old man was there too. I doubt he'll cooperate with us though. It'll be difficult to break in from there. Hmm. Where did you enter the shelter? A uh, manhole on K. Miyamachi North Road. Hmm, I see. She opens the map and studies it. You're right, an entrance is there. But there seems to be another one. It's at M. No South Alley. Have you tried going there? No, not yet. Then let's go there. Hopefully we can get in. New info! Oh my god. Okay. We taking her. I'm already partnered with her. We going. We reach M now, no, now, no, South Alley. Like the North Road, it's silent and empty. The map doesn't really specify the location of the entrance, just that it's here. We'll have to search for it. I'm guessing it's that single manhole. I wanna look at this though. Even though this is a residential, oop, I hit the microphone, I'm sorry. Even though this is a residential area, the street is completely deserted. Okay. Oh, it's a manhole. There's a manhole! Wow! Unlike K. Miyamachi, this road only has one. I'm sure this is the place. The manhole lid has a place to grip it, just like the one at K. Miyamachi. This has to be it. Still, this is strange. Why doesn't the public have any idea about this underground shelter? You'd think the sewer department would, at least. How the hell would I know? It was probably hushed up so those involved didn't get into trouble. They supposedly performed some terrible experiments in there, after all. Does she sound kind of excited? I bet the terrible experiments fascinate her. Ooh. Shut up, Lookbot. When I let the lid, a musty smell greets me. Ugh, this smells familiar. Like the other entrance, the hole goes deep. Thankfully, there's a ladder here, too. Alright, time to go down. Go ahead, Mr. Blipbot. 
Hero and I descend into the dark world hidden beneath H City. What awaits us down there in the darkness? Question mark. We will. F will we find the truth we're seeking, or a hell smeared with blood? I'm guessing blood. Chapter five. Cannon soldier. Oh. <laughs> find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. Let's go. Hey, it looks the exact same. Click. The site that greets us at the bottom is the same as what we saw at Kei Miyamachi. The looming concrete walls and the suffocating stagnant air. We weren't wrong to assume that the two places are connected. So this is the engineering lab. It's even more dreary than I expected. Wait. Do you hear a song? If it's not some kind of prank, then maybe the spirits of the soldiers are wandering around and singing. Y you have no proof of that. It's entirely unscientific. Shut up about that crap. Sorry. Still, it's a little unsettling to hear an army song all the way down here. It's gotta be a supernatural phenomenon. Phenomenomenomenomenomenomenomenomenomenomenomenomenomenomenomenomenomenomenomenomenomenomenomenomenomenomenomenomenomenomenomenomenomenomenomenomenomenomenomenomenomenomenomenomenomenomenomenomenom
Doesn't seem like the presence has fallen. We managed to escape. Zombie knows Morse code for some reason. Maybe. Okay, I'm gonna go quote unquote straight, which is to the left again, because we started on the right. Another door. It's a thick iron door. The keyhole isn't rusted, I could open it if I had the key. Sounds like we need a key. I'm gonna go to the left again. Oh. This place is big. Jeez. That's blood. The dry blood has been blackened on the floor. There's quite a lot. Whoever left it probably died. Probably. I, uh, hope so. I feel like that wouldn't be fun to exist. Oh. I peek into the waterway and see something floating. I reach for it as I hold onto the edge. Somehow I manage to grab it. Talisman. Thank you. Soul power. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go left. Today's left day. Just nothing but left. A dead end. I thought it was gonna be poop. It does look like there's only a wall ahead, but... A breeze? I feel a draft coming in from in front of us. But all that's there is a wall. Why can't I interact with it, though? That... That looks like it could be a door, this lighter part right here. I tried plugging in what I learned into a translator and didn't get anything. It sounded like, but maybe I misheard. Marie doing the good work. Though that sucks. I mean, I don't know. I didn't stay there very long and I was talking over it. Am I sorry? Hello? Ah, oh, it's the same on this side. Click, click, click. I can't do anything. To the right! Oh my god, the first right. There are pitch black stains. I open my eyes wide and stare at- okay. It's the same as the last one. It wouldn't have spelled anything. It was, if anything, two letters on a repeat. Mmm. I can't even interact with this door? Excuse me? Excuse me? Okay, well I guess I have to go back. There's nothing else to do, so we're going down that path now. Oh, I was gonna say, isn't this the spot? Why hasn't anything happened? My summer view and I enjoy there clearly shifts. Goosebumps rise, a presence is approaching. There's an incessant beeping like a telegraph. Keep going. I shrug and keep moving forward. Oh! Hello. The beeping becomes gradually louder, almost as if it's trying to tell me something. Oh! Long, short, long, short, short, long. Help, help, help! <laughs> um, okay, so like, is it expecting me to actually know? I don't want to hit the next button because then I'm going to be on a timer, and I'm scared of timers. Timers, like, make my soul curdle. This translator is useless. One sec. I'm gonna go ahead and kill myself. The sequence, long, short, long, short, short, long, just keeps repeating this code. What in the world does it mean? Heaven, soul, or Buddha? Oh, Buddha. I died instantly. That was a one shot. That took me from 2000 to dead. It had to have been soul. The darkness tightens around my throat like a noose. Herkabla. Well then.
Hang in there. <laughs> is that a pun? Because it was like a noose. <laughs> there we go. Hey, it's soul. I hear a quiet voice. Point two. Uh, I might have to pause stream again in a short moment. I'm gonna try and keep going. That's the letter we got. Your soul. Point to my soul, my heart. Is my soul not in my heart? Where's my soul? In my stomach? I know it's not my head. Oh my god. No, me is not in my head. That is not where me is. Where's the dick quote? <laughs> With blue, all you are is a brain. No. The beeping suddenly stops. Uh, Hero seems terrified. Hey, Hero, are you okay? Um, yeah, I'm fine, obviously. Obviously, yeah. Huh, she's acting different than usual. Let's go, I think it's fine now. Uh, understood. Many much posters. Touch it. Okay, it doesn't do anything if I touch it. Can I not do anything to the door? Oh, if I just push forward, I can go through the door that is open. I think the door on the other side is also open, and I'm a fool for not going through it. God damn it. There in this room is musty. At first glance, I'd say it's part of a medical facility. This is an operating room. And this smell. I uh, thought so. There it is. Since the light over there. Shine the light over there for a second. I shine the flashlight as directed and find a corpse. Hero crouches down and begins to study it. Usually, Hero would be terrified, but at least for now, she's fine. So, you're fine with stuff like that. What? We all have organs and bones inside us, don't we? Only an idiot would be scared of them. Hero skillfully examines the body. When they're done, they stand up again. To be blunt, the corpse is odd. What really draws the eye is that the cervical vertebrae has been severed. But the cut isn't normal. It's like it's notched. The only thing I can think of is that it was cut with a non-surgical tool. I have no idea why anyone would do something that cruel, though. In any case, it's clear that the head was purposely severed. The head was severed with a tool, huh? The corpse is too old to tell everything. If there should be a clue nearby, it'd be best to search the room. Yeah, good idea. Hello? What? That's just a sound that plays? Stop. Looks like it's been a number of years since this person died. The dried skin gives the appearance of a mummy. The cut by the neck is jagged. It must have been- oh, no shit. Okay, we went over that. Hello? Cabinet with a glass door. Looks like something's inside. Then get it. I open it and search around. I find bells attached to a handle and a notebook with a black cover. It's titled Disposal Vat Management Record. I flip the cover open. Dispose 200 Super Dimension Suddenly Iron Door Half Spiritualized. Hypothesis Focus mythical forces need- Oh, I hit X too quickly, I'm an idiot. Safely, safety valve released code. Diamond. There's nothing else written. Hmm. Huh. What in the world are these notes going on about? Disposal? Half spiritualization? I don't understand half the words. Crazy diamond. Plus those bells I found don't fit this place at all. 
I close the notebook and put it in my bag. Just then, something tangles around my hand. Huh? It's a thin thread. It seems to be human hair. It glitters pale gold in the light. What? The mark starts sucking at my blood. I ignore it and instead stare at the shining hair as if being pulled in. It's odd, but I get a real feeling that this moment... No, it's been here. No, it's here, this place. I... I've been here before. The mark's color grows more vivid. A few hours left until death closes in. Mumble, mumble, mumble. Someone mumbles right next to me. Wait, that's not someone else. That's my own voice. What? As I thought, it's here. The words pour out from deep inside. I have absolutely no knowledge or control over them. Memories that aren't mine, words and feelings I couldn't possibly know are falling from my lips. Check the disposal vat. Oh, I guess he worked here. I hope this is my ghost. I must be behind that wall. Felt weird when standing in front of that wall. Oh, wait. Mr. Blight, what are you talking about? The instant hero speaks, the voice stops. It's nothing. I just remembered something important. You sure you're okay? You were mumbling strange things. I'm fine, really. Just spaced out there for a bit. For better or for worse, Hero didn't clearly hear what I was saying. Still, though, that voice. Could it be that my old self, the one I lost along with my memories, was talking to me? The feeling I got when I saw that golden hair, maybe that's what triggered it. I haven't heard that other guiding voice for a while now. I guess all I can do is rely on my old self. The disposal of that be on the wall. The voice said to find that. Hello? It's a metal cabinet. Some of the doors are open, but most are locked tight. Touch it. I search the ones that are open. I find a notebook titled Research Records and an army short sword. The letter in the notebooks have faded, but I can still read it. The experiment miraculously succeeded. This divine protection, the Ura statue obtained from H. the Bud Buddha? That doesn't fit. Statue obtained from H. Shrine, created by blank line statue makers. Donated, thank you. Uh, using chisel, donated by safe family. Severe head, tool, together, becomes the key. Finally, our dearest wish. There's nothing else written. A chisel? Like, for sculpting? Yeah, most likely. I impossible! How would could they do something like that? That's just impossible. Bacana! Ah! I open the wire mesh door and peek inside, but I don't see anything. I go to close the door and see paper stuck to the back side. Tells me! I need that heal juice. Uh. Okay, so there was a door on the. all the other way, other side, that I thought I couldn't go through because I couldn't interact with it, but it turns out I can go through it when I can't interact with it. So I'm gonna go just ram my face against it. Um... Hey, it's another one. It's set up the same way as that operating room. Um... So here we go. Uh, it's set up the same way as the operating room. This place may have been used for the same experiments. There might be records left behind. Let's look. It looks dingy. Can you not, Mr. Spirit Human Person? It's a rusted filing cabinet. It's a well-built metal cabinet. Whatever's inside should be intact. Okay, then open it. 
When I open the door, a cloud of dust flies up and blocks my vision. A notebook with a black cover is left inside. Got experimental unit cor correspondence code. But we've been doing so good. A chapter per stream. Sorry, I have no control over what's happening right now. Uh, experimental unit correspondence code. It seems to be a document about cryptograms. Inside it says, Canon. Weapons code name. Short, 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 long. Short, short, long, long. Well, we're gonna need to remember that. Heavenly Buddha. Project's code name. Short, long, short, long, long. Short, long, long, short. Isn't the end of that what the ghost kept? Ye kind kind of not all of it. it I think it's very much a unit this this is what the ghost was repeating if only I had found this first soul human heads used as materials that's why it was the head that's why I had a point there okay so it doesn't actually have to do with the consciousness it was the materials Well, here's the uh, the answer that we uh, brute brute forced our way through. Uh, uh, it looks like Waboon code. It's similar to Morse. Oh, it's not even Morse code. It's Waboon code. What the fuck? The cabinet with a glass door. Open it. I open it and search inside. I find a notebook titled Research Records and a small gun. The notes have deteriorated, but I can just make out what they say. 17th, next experiment, Asura, statue, can male body and female head, success. Excuse me. Then, a natural phenomenon spirit, frequent, hard, continue experiments. That's all it says. notes on experiments, huh? You'd better give it a read. I just did. Nothing's inside the metal cabinet. Okay. Oh my god, another body. Looks like it's been a number of years since this person died. The dried skin gives the appearance of a mummy. Supernatural equals ernatural. No. Are natural. <laughs> uh, the cut by the neck is jagged and must have been. Wow, it's the exact same as the other side. They really like chopping off heads. Now I gotta go back this way. Go this way. We go north at the. Guys, I see a door. Question mark, explanation mark. An outline of a door is flickering faintly in the wall ahead of us. Hey, look at that. What? What? Impossible. Is it another ghost thing? Question mark, explanation mark. You, you can't see it? See what? Looks like Hero can't see the door. Mumble, mumble. That's the spiritual... My mouth begins mumbling words that I don't recognize all on its own. She says impossible as much as Asher does. It's a uh, it's a research thing. The more smart you become, the more impossible the world becomes. Oppose the spiritual with the spiritual. If you touch it with a tool that honors the gods. The flow of words out my mouth stops. Touch it with a tool that honors the gods. Interesting. Touch it with your hand. Seems the door has no substance. Touch it with your foot. We don't have that. I want to touch it with the sword. Spring is installed in the hell, but it's so flimsy that it's destroyed after one use, so it was never officially adopted. I get one shot. Um. Oh, the bell! Duh! 
I take out the Kagura Suzu Bell. Is it just touching it is okay? No, have to... Strange words spill from my lips again. It's the priestess's tool. If a man displays spiritual power, it will be destroyed, so touch it silently. I have his questions, but I have no choice but to trust the other me. I touch the bells to the door carefully, making sure not to make any noise. The next instant, the door physically appears. What? W what just happened? What did you do? It just felt like it was the right thing to do, but... I stare at the door. I sense an alarming presence. According to my own voice, if I can call it that, the disposal of that is beyond the store. I found some documents about it in the room with the operating table. It might be good to have a look through those. Let's be careful. That place is giving me a bad feeling. Okay. Let's go. I should have saved. I push open the iron door and we head inside. Oh, is this the Buddha statues that we're missing? I think we found the Buddha statues that we're missing. What is this place? On the other side of the door is a large, empty area reminiscent of a vault. Is this the disposal of that? It should be, but it's not quite what I expected. Oh, something's on the ground. A katana? Got rusted army sword. I take what Hero picked up. I shine the flashlight around the area. Are these heads of Buddha statues? It doesn't seem like they're being stored. Is this some kind of garbage dump? Just then... Huh? A sound echoes off something very... something heavy moving. And suddenly the room is lit with a pale light. What was that noise? Let's get out of here for now. I tried to open the door to get out, but... What? It's locked. What? We've been locked in? Oh, Nani this. A cutting coldness invades and envelopes my feet. My head snaps up and I see water pouring into the room like a giant waterfall. Water? It's ice cold. A polar bear swim is not something I ever wanted to do. It quickly rises to our knees. I can't even feel my feet anymore. Water underground? Uh, hurry and open the door or we'll get hypothermia. Oh god. I have to remember what was written in those documents about the disposal vat. Oh, fuck me. Fuck me. We died. It's the diamond one. Yep. Yeah, just kill me. Just fucking kill me. Oh my god, there's a bell statue. And it's a bell. Diamond! Did I win? Can I just win now? Nothing else. Just automatically win. I touch the diamond R hat head. There's a heavy shudder in the sound of movement, and the pulling water suddenly starts sweeping in one direction, down into a drain. Whoa! <laughs> oh shit, that was it! Okay. We got sucked down a drain, apparently. I think. When I open my eyes, all I see is darkness. Ugh. I quickly lift my head and rub my eyes. My vision slowly comes back. Flushed away. This is... An intersection in the underground shelter. Looks like we were drained out with the water and flushed down a pipe. We were lucky. I barely nearly breathe a sigh of relief. God, Marie, how dare you put the wrong year for a movie I've never heard of in my life. But then I remember Hero. 
That's right, where's Hero? No need to be worried. Hero? Ah, who the shit are you? I did the wrong voice, you're not Hero. Ah, it's, it's you. It's been a while, you sneaky intruder. It's that old man I met in the passageway beneath the manhole street. Try to ask him about Hero, but it... Uh... My jaw is nearly locked and my voice is gone. Don't try to talk just yet. The water here comes straight from the tea mountain range, so it's deadly cold. You were submerging it for near an hour, so you'd be slurring your words for a while. Relax, relax, your friend's fine. So you, uh, got somewhere to go back to? Uh... I nod as I groan. The old man's face brightens like the sun. Well, that's great. Not that I'm demanding a reward for saving you or anything, but I am pretty darn hungry. The man eyes me, his smile sharp. Oh, gee. We're, we're taking him back. Can we not? Can we leave him there? I get in the car, and even though it's the wrong season for it, I turn the heat up on full blast. He's gonna smell up the car. We drive with towels and the like, but it doesn't stop our shivering for a long time. Well, this is going on, the old man. Ooh, it's hot. Can I open a window? He's blatantly fanning himself in front of us. Okay, yes, in a way we owe him for saving our lives, but even so, he's being a pain. Hang in there a little while longer. Hero shudders. We're about to freeze, you know. It was an honest question, and it probably sucks for him, but we will keep the car like a sauna. After driving like that for a while, our teeth finally stop chattering. The man's name is Banshee Ito. That's how he introduced himself, but that obviously isn't his real name. As he sits next to me, Banshee gives off a savory smell, like freshly baked bread. It kind of cheers me up, or at least it does for a few moments until I realize it's the stench of dried filth. So, Banshee, what were you doing in a place like that? Banshee remained silent. Are you listening to me? Don't feel up to talking yet. I'll tell you in exchange for food. I shouldn't be surprised. Life's rough. Wait, that should be my question. What were you two doing down there? It's a long story. I summarize everything we know about spirits in the mark until I catch up to when we met him in the underground shelter. Mm-hmm. So that's how it is, huh? He nods vigorously to himself. Do you really understand any of that? Oh, that's Hero. Shit. Do you really understand any of that? Ah, doing voices is hard, guys! Hero doubts are reasonable, but Banshee waves a hand dismissively. Of course I do. What do you think I am? Terrible grudges mucking up that underground shelter. You guys are wrapped up in it now. His story suddenly sounds fishy. A grudge. Banshee, do you know what happened down there? You're willing to voice this, but not Dream Daddy. I never said- No, I thought the gr agreement was that Burrow was gonna voice Dream Daddy. I thought that's what we all wanted. Uh, I said I'm not talking about that yet. I was born into a noble family, so I've always had the ability to see things other that others can't. I state my name, Banshee Ito, on it, so you can trust me. There's a terrible grudge swirling there, and you've gotten swept up in it. He's got nothing to base his claims on, but I get the feeling he's on the right track. In that case, oh noble, no, <laughs> oh noble Lord of Banshee, would you tell us? How do we overcome that whirlpool? Banshee replies with a magnimina flourish. That should be obvious. Whirlpools always have a center, you gotta find that. The center? That swirls grudge in the spirit thing, is that what you called it? The birth of the spirit, the heart of the curse? Something like that should be left within that there swirl. That there swirling grudge, I gave him the right voice. If you look for that, I'm sure then. He trails off. He gazes at the dark road, his mouth hanging open like he's run out of batteries. Then what? What will happen? The black sky simply goes on forever before Banshee's eyes. He died. No, he didn't. Maybe he did.
<laughs> is, I'm gonna assume this is... Oh, that reminds me, Blipbot. God, I forgot about his face. Banshee calls out to me as soon as we enter the garage. Take this. It's just a little symbol of our friendship. Oh, I got the fucking key! I can do shit now! Is this a key for the underground shelter? Maybe that's why it's called an underground shelter key. Blipbot, you're a genius. Mm-hmm. I found it when I was popping in and out from that place. I held onto it. I thought it said pooping at first, and that's why I paused. Like, excuse me? <laughs> but I'll lend it to you for now, Blipbot. He just picked it up. Why is he acting like it's a favor? But I have no reason to refuse him. Thanks, so I'll borrow it. Diamond walks up to us. Hey, you came back safely. Were you able to learn anything? Hero butts in before I can speak. W wait just a minute. Don't tell me. You aren't going to believe the old man's story, are you? He's fishy. Wow, that's rude. If you want my opinion, it's not a punk like you should be trusted even less. Of course, Blipbot. You believe me, right? Fuck, don't- like, I just met you! I don't know, man. I gotta listen to everything. What did you say? Ugh, my hair hurts. <laughs> yeah, why did it close up? Fucking up in the upper corner, old man will remember this. <laughs> I couldn't read if it said heart or head. <laughs> I was reading heart and head at the same time. <laughs> oh, I hit my microphone, I'm sorry. Exactly. Anyway, changing the subject. Good grief, can we just get move on from talking about this? Banshee, you're hungry, right? The dining room should have something. And off he fucking goes. Banshee bolts out the garage and vanishes into the mansion. Diamond gives me an exasperated look. Blipbot, it seems you've got another troublemaker on your hands. Yeah, with you two? To appease the starving Banshee, I offer him some cup noodles and sweet buns. Epitome of hung the epitome of hunger, he gravely begins scarfing it down like a starving dog. That was enough for ten people. Ew, no, I don't want to see a worm pop out of anything. He devours all of it, and I'm reminded of a high-power vacuum cleaner. Excellent. Oh shit, they voiced that for me, I didn't have to read that one. I haven't been this full from forever. Good for you. Now, answer our questions. What were you doing down there? Well, that's an easy one. Because it's my home. What? Been living down there ever since I found it ten years ago. It's not too shabby a place. Keeps me out of the rain and no damn brats messing with me. Though it gets a mite cold in the winter. I, I don't know how to respond to that. Hero and Diamond seem to be the same. It was a paradise for me because no one knew about it. Until a weirdo showed up about six months ago. Some woman doused in perfume. It was winter and I don't like stirring up trouble so I just stayed away. That must have been Zukawa. I nod. That is my thought as well. That was a month ago. I figured she must have up and left, so I went back. But now there's something stranger. Which was... A damn walking Buddha statue. <laughs> uh, I know I'm pretty out there, but even I was shocked by that. I even got this weird scar. Oh, he's got a mark like everybody else. Why didn't I guess? Oh my god. And she removes the scarf, revealing the mark on his neck. You may not believe this, but that statue gave you the scar. I don't care if Hero dies, take her so we don't have to deal with this dude. I figured. It was the cane and soldier, after all. The cane and soldier? How do you know that name? Some document I saw had it. This walking corpse needs to just die. It was an old plan to make a Buddha statue move with supernatural powers, a heavenly Buddha project weapon. Are you nuts? 
Spirit power is making something move. That's insane. Now, now, hero, calm down. So those documents you found, are they still around? Nope, I burnt them for warmth. I had a delicious roasted potato, too. <laughs> How could you? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe take your own advice, Dr. Diamond. Our measure of common sense seems to be rather different than this strange old man's. It's fine. My noggin words are different than most people's. I got it all memorized. As you say, just tell us. Actually, the doc is pretty chill. Can we kill Hero instead? Wait, who am I saying the name wrong? Damon? But it's an I. Is it really Damon? Thought it. Oh, we need to know about that project. Oh, buddy, so I'm gonna have to read this all as him because he's telling it. I <laughs> kill everyone, bring back the cuties so we can. Okay. Yeah. The Henley Buddha project was the pet project of some general at the end of the war. So they built that shelter for it. Ta-da, the 13th Army Engineering Lab. To make the cannon soldier thing, they did test some Buddha statues. They were brought from the shrines or something somewhere. Smut ending. Yeah, I want that eventually. That must be H shrine. They did a bunch of stuff to infuse the statues with spiritual power. There was a monk from Team Mountain, spiritual treasures from all over. But nobody thought anything had actually come from it. <clears throat> the project was just an excuse to keep that fanatical general busy. At least it was supposed to be. <laughs> Treasure Mountain. Oh, well, one day the statue started moving. It went berserk through the lab and went crazy on a ton of people. The blood stained and old corpses in the shelter are probably the victims. Some people survived, but they had red butt like marks on them. The thing went in and rocked the place then. It stopped. Never moved again. No one knows what even triggered it. That's about everything it said. Hero and Damon are white as sheet. I probably am too. It's a hard story to um it's a hard story to believe, but he has no reason to lie to us. I think he speaks the truth. What? Are you kidding me? A statue going around killing people and crushing them? Impossible! Bacana! <laughs> Isn't he always white as a sheet? True. And then how do you explain the mark on his neck? Logic would dictate that the moving statue saw was the cannon soldier. Uh. The dormant soldier suddenly starts moving after 50 years. That might be the cause of mine and hero's marks. Well, if you flip that through. Flip that, though. Well, if your grandpa's got the mark from the cannon soldier, when the soldiers stopped moving, their marks disappeared. But when they started up again, you got them because of their descendants. If that's true, then the children inherited their parents' fate. Hero can't seem to muster up any kind of counter-argument. I think she's in shock. It's like coffee-stained lab coat. I want to ask you something, old man. You say the Canaan soldiers stopped moving 50 years ago, but why? Ah, uh, I think it was some spiritual person used a thingamajig to do something. So you have no idea. It's the most important part. Try to remember. Mmm, it's not that easy, son. The mark mud have made me forget. Taking his age into account, it's likely just completely slipped his mind. Yes, we need the old lady. We don't get the old lady. We get these three. It seems we must defeat the cannon soldier to be free of our marks. We'll have to figure it out on our own if he can't be of more help. You seem a pro at this, Blipbot. We'll be relying on you. I don't have spiritual powers or anything. But you've already faced down four different spirits, haven't you? Yeah, the also, the spiritual lady, when she first spoke to me, 
said that I also have spiritual powers. So I think it's me. I think I'm the spiritual person, even though I refuse to believe it. Because she said I was, and I believe her. Normal person wouldn't have survived. Now that he says it, I guess he's right. I have been hearing a mysterious voice a few times and having weird- Oh, you believe him, but not the good lady who said it. The exact same thing. I even caught myself unconsciously talking while we were down in the shelter. So what are you folks gonna do now? Good question. Oh, jeez. Well, I mean, it's all the same. What do you mean I'm only investigating part of it? Fuck, I don't know. The fucking soldier. Maybe the order matters? Well, all three of them are gonna die if the order matters. I feel- yeah, I was gonna say what Birdie said. The project, like, encompasses all of it? And I think that's okay. Thanks, Alex. Uh, let's investigate the project in the shelter. I feel like that'll be the key to the mark. I guess we're going back in then. You're still kind of sulking, but she's at least recovered from her shark shock. We all share the same fate. It's too late to try and run away. Yep, you should find it there. The heart of everything that's causing the curse. You need that to stop the cane and soldier. That's what my gut's telling me. What are you gonna do then? I'm full now, so I was gonna go take a nap in that park nearby. I shouldn't wait until you fellas do something about that soldier. Wait just a minute, you old fart. Didn't we just say that it's too late to run away? Okay, okay, I get it. Well, you folks did feed me, so I guess I can help you. Okay. No, you can you can go take a nap in that park nearby. It's fine. I'm gonna save. It's still hers, my partner. Cool. Wait, wait, wait. She is way super smarter than me. Look at that. She is the smartiest. Our spirit power is the same. Okay, let's go leak. I have to manually go down each time? Okay. Oh! Why was that so shaky? Oh, I guess it was us moving the manhole cover. Okay. I mean, I don't know what new things I'm supposed to investigate, but I assume the game will just update itself or something. Nani. Nani, wait. Wasn't there a door back behind you? Oh yeah, I can go through there now. You're right. He gave me the key. Oop, I'm dumb. Run, 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 run. Run, 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 run. Oh my god. There we go. It's a thick iron door. The keyhole isn't rusted. I could open it if I had the key. Open the door with the key. Gah. There's a single out of place Buddha statue. Its head has been cut off. These. Randomly got an ad so I can't see or hear anything. Oh. Rippo send. It's a Buddha statue. That list Buddha statue is covered in dust. All funds go to Twitch. There's a talisman stuck to the neck as if it's taking the place of the missing head. I'm gonna tell this man. Oh, you gotta go play Hearthstone now. That's what it says. It's required. What the fuck is this box? 
big iron box. Wow. There's a thin layer of dust on it, but it looks fairly intact. Open it. Hello. Nice to meet you. What are these doing here? The box is packed with carelessly tossed Buddha statue heads. Nani o o o. Burrow your band. Kai, you're right. Dot dot dot. A real, actual head can be clearly seen among them. What if we take one? Okay. It's dry and mummified, but going by the long hair, it's probably female. Most likely one of the experiment's victims. Huh, so this is where it was. Let's take it and bring it to its owner. I th thought you'd say that. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> I feel hero's gaze on me. <laughs> what? <laughs> I, we're going insane, guys. I can only carry one head. I need to choose which one to take. Took the human. Is there anything else in here that we need to look at? Oh, the light. Light bulb's covered in dust. It's obvious no one has touched it in a long time. Why is such a bulb still working? On the statue? I don't want to put it on the statue. I want to go take it to one of the bodies. Okay. If you guys say so. I can't do it. It's not an option. <gasps> Fuck you, you dickbag. Like, actually. I might have to actually end stream here soon, and I'm really sorry about that. Um... Okay, so I'm gonna go try and take this to one of the bodies. Well, let's take it to the first body. I've got a good hour and a half. Yeah, at least I got further than I thought I was gonna get. Looks like it's been a number of me 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 Yes. Try attaching the human head, but it doesn't fit very well. Then it's the other one. How can you tell? Listen. I don't even know. Maybe the... Maybe like, one head is cut off with those scissors that make like the swirlies, and the other one is cut off with scissors that make star shapes, and so they don't match. It looks like a... Yeah. That I picked up earlier might fit on this corpse next. Should I try it? Yes. Where the fuck is another body? Hello? Hello? Is body? Is no body. Ha <laughs> ha! Um... So I wanted to see if coming in here I could plug up the hole with her head. But I don't see an option to do that anywhere. <laughs> I guess I can't do that then. Uh, Nani do. Hello? What's this way? I don't remember. The kind of door, the keyhole. Okay, let's go in. Let's do it. I bet this is where the body is. 
Oh, is this where the old man stopped us from before? Nope. Can I hear a victory chant coming from the other side of the intersection? Are you guys ready for a quick time do or die where I die a bunch? Sure, I can keep moving forward. <sighs> I can take one step forward and an electric current runs through my body and my muscles seize up. Well, that's concerning. You lay about. What are you doing here? You have time to be loafing around, do you? Recite the basis slogans at once. Cheer for the final battle in the homeland. Um. Am I sorry? This one. Because you called me a lazy layabout. Call yourself a citizen? I mean, I didn't die, but it didn't say safe. So, I don't know. No, that was wrong. Okay, so it's not two. Once more, declare our resolve to strike back with air riots. We won't lose even if our country is reduced to ashes. Show your determination. Send forth a hundred million fireballs? You unpatriotic piece of shit. Well, I'm not dead yet. But I will die on this next question. Our army has fought bravely from the southern tropics to the northern Arctic, but the tide still hasn't turned in our favor. What do you think? Can we win this crusade? Yes. The answer is yes, we will win. The other two says no, we won't win. I have to say yes, we will win. You're pretty promising for a new recruit. Keep a good eye on the squad. Farewell. I win! <laughs> One out of three. Pretty promising. Listen, if I got all of them wrong, then I wouldn't be promising. And if I got too many right, I wouldn't be promising. I'd have already won. Thank you. I am best recruit. Okay, let's go to the left. The head goes on this body. Looks like the person was crushed to death. I can't do anything to it. It's a thick iron door. The keyhole isn't rusted. We go on through the door. She will do well in the war. Hello? It's this body. But on this table is... It's a corpse with a severed head, no surprise. Headless corpse is lying there. It goes here. Headless corpse is lying on top of the operating table. The head I picked up earlier might fit on the corpse's neck. Yes. I don't think the head goes on this corpse. I think it goes on statue. I tried the statue. The statue wouldn't even give it an option, birdie. Perfect. See? Fuck you. <laughs> on a statue. Well, I haven't seen a single other statue. The world suddenly distorts. A horrific scene appears before my eyes. This is the woman on the operating table? Some kind of experiment is being performed on her. Must be seeing the past. The sound triggers a change in views. Men in lab coats holding surgical tools, but they don't look like they're alive. The ghosts of the researchers seem to be stuck forever in the nightmare of the past. She becomes Spider Woman, god damn it. I can hear the men whisper from my left side. Hey, she's awake. Don't worry, she'll be dead soon anyway. True enough. Then something else interrupts. You. This time, it's a cold whisper from my right. You can hear me, can't you? 
Don't be afraid. Soon. The voice on my right cuts off and I can hear the men in lab coats again. Oh god. Hey woman, which of these tools do you want us to use to cut your neck? This is for you, so we'll let you decide. Um... I mean... What? So you're just lowly trash after all. Sever and get it over with. Good answer, you're pretty smart. Unfortunately, you'll soon be saying goodbye to that clever head of yours. It's valuable material, we'll cut it off nicely. Shut up. You're just like a pig. This is why I hate handling women. Be patient. We finally found a clue. Not yet. Wait. I'll give you power. The whisper from our right falls silent. Yeah, I never dreamed breaking from our usual method would go to hell. Hey pig, do you understand? Do you know what the correct combination of head and body for the heavenly Buddha? Uh, it's opposites. So it's the middle one. Precisely, and that's why we need your head. Gladly offer it up for the sake of our beloved country. The problem is the soul freshness. Regardless of refrigeration, it's all up to the quality of the cut. Though there are only so many available methods, this is where all the equipment we have. Then to the freezer. The voices on the left cut out. A determined voice echoes in my right ear. Hate. 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 Hate this whole world. Tear it to pieces. The power to do that. I'll give it all to you. In the place where you hear me now. Hate them. Destroy them. Understand? Hello? <laughs> this one. Is it yes? <laughs> yeah, I was like, do I have to pick a certain one? Good. Destroy them. I return to my senses. I'm standing beside the operating table. Just then, something slides out of the hand, the corpse on the table. Get a small key. What I just saw. No, importantly. The voice that keeps speaking from my right side. Who was that? You don't look so good. Did you see something weird again? Yeah, actually. I explained to Hero what I just saw. A horrible tragedy happened here in the past. It's possible that whatever triggered it might have been wh whoever that voice belonged to. Who cares about that? Erasing the mark is more important right now. Well, I'm not sure about that part, but... It was right. This isn't helping accomplish our goal. We need to search for whatever gave birth to the spirit. Let's keep looking. That small key I just found might be belong to the cabinet here. Turn my attention to the mark on my wrist. It isn't coming yet. I glance over at Hero, but they don't seem to be acting differently at all. Death should be slowly closing in on us, but it seems we still have some time. What's important right now is making sure we survive. Interesting. That's an interesting comment. Stop with the chainsaw sounds! Fuck off! Headless corpse. Meh 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 was likely a woman. Twill built melanina. Open it. Open the door using the small key. Inside is an old gun and some research records. Suddenly berserk. Severe damage. Sutra chanting. Complete insanity. Only those who made themselves deaf managed to remain sane. 
half-spiritualized, like disposal vat, need sacred object, attack, destroy human head, the heart of this all, need to destroy human head. That's all it says. Got gun with blanks, research record three. Stop with the chainsaw. It's missing not only its head, but also all of its limbs. What kind of torture was this? Well, that's that room. Oh, wait, 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 go back. I didn't see this before. Something's written on the wall in blood. It looks like love. It says I. I was right. That's love. Okay, I can leave now. Another buddy. More kanji. Nope. Oh. Well, that's, uh... It's an abandoned skeleton. The bleached corpse is weathered in some places. Something is in its bony hand. Touch it. Managed to pry it out. The whole corpse looked like it might crumble at any second. I got me a talisman. Fuck you, talisman. It's a thick iron door. The key isn't rusting since you do it. Do it, you coward. Let's go. Oh. Another long hallway. Oh, this is the other hallway that we were in, no? Oh, that's the light behind it. I was trying to figure out what that red thing was. Yeah, yeah, okay. So we're back here. So that's where the old man was. So I will go left again. There's hands all over that door. Upon closer look, it's countless handprints. But the keyhole is perfectly fine. I could open the door if I had the key. Um, I'm gonna back out of that. No, I hit circle. Okay, we're gonna go through the door, I'm gonna save, and then I'm ending the stream. Oh shit, these are where all the statues were. Please stop the dialogue box so I can. A number of Buddha statues. They're all missing their heads. Oh, I guess this will be the puzzle. I'd have to figure out which Buddha head goes on which statue. It seems like this is where they stored all the various statues they gathered through the thief or donations. It feels like something's here. M maybe this is where the heart of all the curse. Okay. Dot dot dot. Brace myself for input from the other me. But it doesn't seem like that's happening. Does that mean I should already know? Yeah, it does. Perfect. I can save now.